Okay, so here we go. Um, start off with uh, admitting that I've done something very stupid, but I think I fixed it by doing something very smart. Let's start with something very stupid. Um, uh, in the fall, I had flipped the boat over, uh, this boat right here, uh, because I didn't want it to collect water. So I was like, hey, I can flip this tin boat. So I tried to flip it myself. Well, I did in fact flip it myself, but in doing so, I kind of screwed a few things up. I broke this thing clean off and I bo broke one of the uh, transom plates in the back. Um, so now we're gonna go over how I fixed it. So here's what I've done. Uh, this is riveted in. Uh, what I did is I bored out the rivets on both sides, right? And then I went and got some screws and some uh, rubber washers and I've just cleaned it all up with uh, uh, the screws and rubber washers. Now, this all seems to be great and all, but we're gonna see if it actually holds water uh, and if it's gonna hold any weight. Uh, they are uh, reinforced stainless steel uh, mechanical screws, so they should do well, but uh, you know, we will see. All right, well, that's all I got for now. Oh, uh, not yet. Let's go and check what I did over here. So this is a cast aluminum, right? So this is the thing I broke back here. Uh, cast aluminum, I was really bummed because I was trying to find a replacement, absolutely no replacements in sight. So what did I do? I went and uh, uh, I brought it to, uh, I brought it, uh, I brought the piece, the broken piece to a, uh, um, a mechanic, like a car repair shop. And uh, they, they got an aluminum welder there. They welded it for me. Guy didn't even charge me anything. So uh, yeah, I really lucked out on that one. So basically, I screwed a bunch of shit up, but the whole thing didn't cost me much to fix it. So, there we go. Take her easy. So I'm putting a uh, rubber washer on both sides and um, I'm also uh, coating the whole thing in flex seal. I wasn't going to admit the flex seal part, but you know what? Screw it. You know, um, might be a little embarrassed about the flex seal, but who knows? It might actually be a genius idea. Who freaking knows? I don't know. You probably don't know either. So we're going with the flex seal. Um, just gonna get these on here. Got my trusty Ryobi impact, right? There you go. Probably gonna get chirped for the Ryobi impact, but you know what? I really don't care. Good. Okay, so if I were to do this project over again, um, I probably would have put uh, metal washers on both sides. So I got metal washers on this side, right? And the rubber washers, but I just have rubber washers on this side. Um, and honestly, it was just because the guy at the Home Depot didn't think that I needed metal washers on both sides. But you know what? Fuck that guy at the Home Depot. He clearly doesn't know what he's talking about. And obviously I do, or at least I think I do. So, I don't know if I'm just gonna like say screw it and leave it the way it is, or if I'm gonna go back and get four more rubber wa or metal washers. I think I might just see if I can find some metal washers here at uh, the shop. Anyways, that's where I am with this project. I'll update you if we got anything else worthwhile updating you on. Doodles. Okay, so um, good news, bad news. Found a bunch more washers. Um, 
right? Like way more washers. And like now the problem is I'm like, God damn, there's like 10 projects I could have used those washers for. Anyways, moving swiftly along. Uh, so found some extra washers, uh, ended up uh, finishing it off. I think that looks way better. Um, you know, it's got like the little, you know, rubber washer in there all squished in. It's like all kind of like membrane-ish. Um, so, you know, the hope is it's gonna hold water. We'll see.